We, we did realize, you know, pretty early on that we, we were these white imposters. I mean, we played with, you know, people like Sonny Boy Williamson, for Christ's sake. You know, used to get very drunk, would think nothing of changing arrangements, screwing up the band. Anyway, we were whiteys, what did he care? And he'd actually said, you know, when he got back to the States, these boys want to play the blues so badly, and believe you me, they do, you know. <laughs> Which was probably a fairly nice thing for him to say. Manfred Mann, who already had several chart hits to their name, also accepted the honour of backing Sonny Boy on stage. Thank you very much. Sonny Boy was a grumpy old character, but the problem really was that Manfred Mann was made up mostly of trained musicians. Musicians who could read music and uh, write music. And uh, we fell out over how many bars there are in a 12-bar blues. You know, I mean, the trained musicians thought it must be 12, surely. You just keep it all to you. And Sonny Boy knew the correct answer, which was any number that I want it to be. Do that for me, darling. Don't make it to no one else. Williamson was staying with our manager, uh, Giorgio Gomelski, and there's a flat in Lexham Gardens around the corner here. And uh, we came one, one day, we came home to the flat, and there's all this noise going on, you know. And then uh, we opened the bathroom, and Sonny Boy Williamson is plucking a live chicken in the bathroom, you know, like he, like he did back home, you know. So, I mean, there, there was a lot of cultural differences, you see.